Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. Our concept is multiplying and dividing word problems. This is part one. Remember third graders, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box so that you can request a free 30 minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's talk about some of the words that may indicate you need to multiply or divide when you are reading word problems. <laughs> First, let's start with multiplication. You can see times, each, in all, twice, per, area, factor, multiply, multiple I mean, multiplied by or equal groups. For division, you may see half, same, split, quotient, divisor, equal group, separate, distribute, divided by, cut up, or shared equally. Let's dive into our problems. And remember, we have our third grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. Number 39 says, Aaron will place 99 tiles on a shelf. He will make nine equal stacks. How many tiles will be in each stack? In order for us to solve this problem, the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the number of tiles that are in each stack of the shelf. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next thing we need to solve is, well, what information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is, number one, Aaron will place 99 tiles on each shelf. And number two, he will make nine equal stacks. Now that we have the information we need, we need to solve the problem. And in order for us to do that, we are going to divide 99 tiles by nine equal stacks, okay? We are going to divide 99 tiles by nine equal stacks. 99 divided by nine is equal to 11. So there are 11 tiles on each stack. And what is our correct answer? Yes, 11 tiles on each stack is our answer. Great job, third graders. Let's dive into question number 40. There are a total of 36 bicycles in six rows at a bicycle shop. There are the same number of bicycles in each row. Which equation can be used to find the number of bicycles in each row? Is it F, six times six is equal to 36? Is it G, 36 minus six is equal to 30? H, 36 times six is equal to 216? Or J, six plus six is equal to 12? In order for us to solve this problem, the first thing we need to do is ask, what are we looking for? We are looking for the equation that can be used to find the number of bicycles in each row. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next question is, what information can help find the answer? So the information that can help us find our answer is that there are a total of 36 bicycles in six rows, and also there are the same number of bicycles in each row. Now that we have that information, well, how are we gonna solve the problem? We need to divide 36 bi bicycles by six rows. 
36 divided by six is equal to six. There are six bicycles in each row. So what is our correct answer? Well, as we look through our answer choices, we don't see 36 divided by six is equal to six. What we do see is, or what we need to look for is the fact tree where 36 divided by six, how else can we write this equation? Is it F, six times six is equal to 36? Is it G, 36 minus six is equal to 30? Is it H, 36 times six is equal to 216? Or is it J, six plus six is equal to 12? How else can we write this equation? And if you said that six bicycles in each row times six rows is equal to 36 bicycles, you are absolutely correct. So F is our correct answer. Great job, third graders. And that is it for multiplying and dividing word problems, part five. Remember, we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. And if you need a math tutor, we have a link for parents to sign up for a free consultation. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.